Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be explaining some of the most common receptacles found on portable generators. You can see right here, these are your receptacles. You can see most generators come with these receptacles. I'm gonna go over each one, the most common ones you'll find, and explain them. And we're gonna explain the standard name and the NEMA code name. We have another set right here. These are your larger 240 volts. So we'll go over each one of these. So in this video, we're gonna explain and try to make it a little easier for you guys to understand each plug and what they stand before and what they look like, the 120 volt, 240 volt. So we'll just try to demystify these plugs and make it easier for you to understand and to choose your generators to know exactly what plug you need. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start with the smallest one. Let's go over a few of the most popular ones that you will find on North America generators. So that's generators in the US. I'm not gonna go over all the different types. There are several different types of receptacles. Let's just go over the most popular ones. Starting with the smallest one, you usually get your NEMA 515R. It looks like this. So this would be your NEMA 515R. It does not have the 20 amp plug. It just comes with your standard plug like this. That's the 15 amp plug. And the receptacle does not have the little side slash right here, so you can use the 20 amp plug. The next one we have is the NEMA 520R. So this is the 5-20R. You see that little slash I was talking about right here? This is what the plug looks like. So it has that little sideways plug, so you could plug into a 20 amp. The cool thing about the NEMA 520R, 5-20R, it can use the 20 amp plug or your 15 amp standard plug. So either one of them will plug into the uh, 20 amp receptacle. So with this one right here, the 15 amp plug, the maximum wattage you can pull from this one is 1,800 watts, 15 amps at 120 volts. So if you times 120 times 15, you'll get your max. So that's 1800 watts. On the 20 amp, you can pull a maximum of 2400 watts. The generator may not support it, but that's what you could pull from the receptacle. All right, step it up. This is your 30 amp receptacle. This is what the plug look like. It's a twist lock. So this one you usually find at the marina on bolts because once you lock it in you twist lock it, it does not come out since bolts move around a lot it helps so it does not fall out easily so this one is your L5-30R 30 amp locking the next one we're going to look at is your RV plug so these are very popular with RV trailers and 30 amp trailers so this is called your RV Ready Generators. The receptacle looks like this. It is a TT5-30R. And this is what your plug would look like for most RVs and 30 amp RVs. So there you go. This one has a maximum wattage of 3,600 watts. So that's a 120 volt plug at 30 amps. So you have 3,600 watts. Once you get to the bigger generators, then you have the 240 volt receptacles. This is also a locking receptacle. So it's your L14-30R. You have 120 volts, 240 volts, but the maximum wattage you can get from that one is 7,200 watts. So this is usually for your 240 volt loads, transfer switch, and home backup. So you can use this right here. This is what the plug looks like. It's a locking plug. So the receptacle allows you to lock into the, so it does not fall out easily. And last, we usually have this big 50 amp for home backup. You have your 120 volt, 240 volt, 50 amp. You can support a maximum of 12,000 watts from this receptacle. Your plug looks like this. So it would plug right into this receptacle and get you that full 12,000 watt for your home backup or 50 amp RVs. 
All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is explain the NEMA codes for you. The first letter would be for your locking or blade or T that indicates what type of plug you have. It could be a locking, non-locking, straight or blade device. The second one, your five indicates 120 volts, 14 indicates 240 volts, okay? The next one, your 15, that's your amperage. So you have 15, 20, 30, or 50 amps. The last one, the P or the R, that's your plug or receptacle. That's the easy way you guys can keep up with the NEMA name for your receptacle or plug. So I just wanted to explain to you guys the different plugs on the generators. So the next one you usually see are GFCI protected outlets or receptacles. All right guys, so just a quick video showing you the different plugs on your generators. It's real good to pick the right generator because that can mean that you may have to use an adapter. And if you pick the right generator before, you don't have to buy an adapter. So it just saves you some time and money. So make sure you pick the right receptacle for your generators. Okay guys, so just a quick video explaining all the different plugs you can get from the 15 amp to the 20 amp to the locking 30 amp, your RV plug, You have your locking 240 volt, 120 volt locking, GFCI protected plugs, and your 50 amp RV or home backup. Guys, just a quick video explaining all the different plugs you can get with your generator, making sure that you get the right generator so you don't have to use an adapter. That saves you some time and money. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, push that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more videos like this. Guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.